So how does a disc herniation or bulge occur? So in our spines, we have these little discs and they're in between the bones and they're like little shock absorbers and they're full of a lot of water. The water allows us to have what's called a hydrostatic pressure, which allows us to be able to absorb a lot of shock, twisting motions, bending, right? So we can work, sit, drive, we can play sports, we can surf, we can play hockey, we can do play golf, all the activities, everything we want to do and really not be in a lot of pain. But what happens over time, if we hurt ourselves or we do too much of those activities, the disc starts to compress. And as that disc starts to compress, it loses the water content. So now it starts to dry on up and it pushes upon the nerve root. Well, once it pushes upon that nerve root, this is where it's called the disc bulge or herniation and protrusion. And this is what causes pain. Normally those discs go through a motion where they compress and then they open. It's like a little pump and that allows it to have water oxygen nutrients. Well, when it compresses, that can't happen. And the decompression allows the disc to come off of there and that pump to reestablish.